Today we've got the ultimate 20 minute full body spin bike workout for beginners that you don't need a Peloton for. Now, yes, you could have one, but you don't need it. So stay tuned because we're gonna smash a badass workout in today's video. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to today's workout. My name's Frank Wall. I'm a certified personal trainer and fitness nutrition coach with my three main goals to help you feel, move, and look better through mobility training and nutrition. Now, before I get too ahead of myself, if you wanna go ahead and skip down to the workout, just click that link down in the description or down in the comment section below, and you can get straight to today's workout. Now, I call it the ultimate 20 minute full body spin bike workout for beginners without a Peloton needed because Sometimes a lot of people think that you need this Peloton, you need an app, which is great, don't get me wrong. I got clients that use it, the app is awesome. Sure, you can use it, but if you don't have access to it, you just need a cheap spin bike, all right? The one I'm using today is a life cycle. This is what another trainer brought in here, but also I do have like a Livestrong, just a regular spin bike I got at home. I think I paid $400 for a used spin bike. Find one on Craigslist, find one on eBay. Just get the cheapest spin bike you can. I'm also gonna put a lot of links down here in the description to the Peloton and to some other bikes if you'd like to use those, because. Really you just need a spin bike to get moving. But I call it the ultimate spin bike workout for beginners that's full body because of the fact we're gonna hop on and off the spin bike. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually challenge the intensity of it. Sometimes you're doing a spin class and you're pushing through, you're going intense, you're hopping off, but listen, yeah, you might wanna lose weight, but we've gotta tighten and tone the upper body too. So in this 20 minute workout, we've got 20 moves, all right? 10 moves is gonna be going hard on the spin bike. It's a 45 seconds of work and 15 second rest break. During the 45 seconds of work on the spin bike, we're gonna go 25 seconds, we're just pedaling with a little bit of resistance, going casually. 20 seconds, we're gonna amp it up. And if you're a beginner, just go casual the whole time. Just get your blood flow going. But we're gonna try and amp up that 20 seconds. We have a 15 second break and we're gonna hop off and then we're gonna do some body weight moves. We have a squat, we have an alternating lunge, we have a push up, a reverse crunch, and a superman. So we got our legs, we got our upper body, and we got two core movements hitting the back. We're hitting everything, all right? So grab your water bottles, you're gonna need it. Let's get hydrated and let's smash today's spin bike workout. All right, so before we get started too much, a few key important things you know before setting up your bike. A, number one, when you're stepping on here, get onto the pedal, all right? And then basically when you're gonna push down on the pedal and step onto the bike, you wanna make sure that you your leg's not locked out, A, and B, that it's not having too much of just a short range of travel. Meaning, sometimes people are on the bike and they just sit on a bike and start going. But look, as you can see here, when I'm pedaling, I have so much more room of a stroke that I can get. So you can get more power and more range. So you wanna get the most out of it. So the idea is sit onto your bike and then basically sit onto it. And you wanna see that, can you keep a little light bend in your knee? That, that's too much range, right? So I'm gonna bring this up a little bit more. For me, it's level 13 on this bike. So when I sit onto the bike, I don't want my leg to be locked out, but I want it so there's just a slight bend. I've already done the adjustments on here. So that way when I pedal, I can get more stroke, I can get more power out of the movement. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna lock that on. And then also, if your spin bike does have an adjustment for the top, when I do sit on here, most people don't think about this like, like this, I'm OCD about form and technique. I want my chest out and shoulders back. Sometimes I may be hunched over, but I, I hate seeing people riding. And again, that's just a biker thing. I'm not a, a biker by any means but I wanna have good form, so you'll notice when I bike, I wanna keep my back flat, I wanna have good posture, because sometimes people are just riding and going through it. I don't like riding like that, unless I'm dying and I'm pushing through, but I don't wanna build bad posture and habits. So you wanna adjust this, you can turn that and adjust this up and down, because see, if this is too far down, I mean, you can have it down a little bit, but then it's creating a little bit of a roundness in my lower back, so I'm gonna bring this up level 10, tighten that up. So this is just a sweet spot for me that I can get into it. Also, if you have clipping pedals, I recommend those, they work better. I don't have any for today, so I'm just using the traditional bear claws and we're gonna throw those in. So I'm gonna get my foot into the straps. I'm gonna get my timer going. Let's get started right now. Boom, 15 second countdown to get rolling, get my water, I'm gonna need this. Get hydrated. Tighten up these clips. Snug them up. All right, and let's get pedaling. So, we are pedaling right along. I'm gonna keep this resistance moderate, nothing crazy, all right? 25 seconds, I'm just moving. So I'm pedaling, 
Nice deep breaths and I'm just moving. Now the last 25 seconds, either if you have a knob or you have an adjustment, we're gonna rip on that resistance, okay? So 25 seconds is casual. And in just a second here, these 20 seconds, I'm gonna go hard. Drop that resistance, crank it. Now you can do two things. Get on top of the bike and pedal as hard as possible. I mean, everything you got here. If you're a beginner, just go a little bit more than normal, right? Just pedal real hard. You can stay in the seat if you'd like and just pedal and push. Nice push, nice control. Boom, all right, we're gonna come on off. I got my heart rate elevated. I'm gonna take these off real quick. And that's why I got the transition because in case you have the clip and pedals or those, and then we're gonna get ready. We're gonna go into our next move and we have our squats. So I'm just gonna point those toes out a little bit and then 45 seconds of squats right here. So I'm dropping down, chest is tall. I'm squeezing the glutes. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. As I squat, as I come up, a pelvic thrust, I squeeze the butt. I'm down and up. Nice squeezes. So this whole first part of the series, I'm gonna be coaching you through it. We've got our first 10 minutes is instructional. The last 10 minutes, we're just gonna crank up the music and we're gonna roll. So I'm just down and up. Again, you don't have to go all the way down, but at least get your back flat, get your butt pretty low, three quarters of a bend. All right, so you don't wanna lock out. I wanna keep those knees soft, squeeze the glutes. And because I'm doing that bike, man, I feel my inner thighs. I feel my legs so much more. So nice squats here. Squeeze, we're gonna hop right back onto the bike. We're gonna get moving. I'm gonna get my feet into the pedals. I've been actually looking forward to do this for a long time. I have a spin bike in my, uh, my garage and I wake up in the morning and I just go. So I'm just gonna get this going. That's why I love the spin bike. If it's three cardio things that you can do, incline walk on a treadmill, okay? Or incline walk outside, cycling, all right? Or swimming, it's non uh, impact on your joints, okay? So again, these first 25 seconds, I'm moving, all right? Got a nice cadence, I'm pedaling, pushing through. Again, I'm not trying to stay slouched. Being cognitive to the form, let's crank it up. You got 20 seconds, intense. All right, now you can stay in your seat, all right? If you're dying in the seat and you want to, you can get up on top of the bike. You can lean forward a little bit and you can push as hard as you physically can. As many repetitions as you can get. Woo, what a burn. The beauty of a spin bike, boys and girls, is that you can really get that heart rate elevated like crazy. And that's what I do in a lot of my HIIT training is I'll use a spin bike, 20 seconds insane, 40 seconds easy, 20 minutes. Great 20 minute workout. We got alternating reverse lunges. We're dropping down, stepping. As I'm lunging, I'm keeping the knees soft. I'm alternating legs, but I never fully lock out. So I'm just alternating legs. I'm hovering that knee against the ground, pushing the heel into the ground, squeezing the glutes, and I'm stepping. Inhale all the way down, breathe in. Exhale, step. Again, don't lock out the legs, keep the knees soft, drop it down. 90% of the weight's on that one leg I'm working on. Push the hips and the butt back. Lean over forward just a little bit so we can keep tension on our glutes. Because again, a lot of times when you're cycling, it's a lot of quads. And yeah, your hamstrings and glutes. Maybe when you're pushing up hills and your feet are on the heels of the pedal, you might feel it there, but boom. All right, so then we are back onto the bike. And this is a nice combo where I say we're getting the whole entire body working, strengthening the body, all right? Strengthening the legs. And also, we are getting in a heck of a cardio. So, I'm gonna start pedaling. Moderate resistance here. Sometimes I'll keep the resistance on a decent bit where I can feel it, but I'm not trying to set any records here. This 25 seconds of work right here, moderate intensity, I'm moving, I'm getting it going because honestly, I do a lot of the, the hit stuff. 20 seconds all out, it's a long time, all right? so. We're gonna give it our all, crank it, and then 20 seconds, leaning into it. And I got the resistance cranked up. I'm pushing into it as hard as I can. Oh, my quads are lit. Doesn't matter, keep pushing. Big rest. Uh, three, two, almost there. Woo. Wow, I'm telling you, it's some of the greatest burn you can get is using a bike. Holy smokes. All right, so we're coming on off. We're going into some push-ups. Since we're a beginner, we're gonna use our knees, all right? Down nice and slow, shoulders over the wrist. Dropping it down, inhale, breathe in, exhale. Press and squeeze the chest. 
adductors elbows. Inhale, breathe in. And then you're gonna come up and press. If you're having a hard time, you can prone cobra, reset. Don't let your hips and your butt go back though, okay? Drop it down and don't come down like that either. Inhale the way down. Let your hips and your chest come down at a nice equal level. Drop it down, chest touches, reset. Press and squeeze, don't over rotate. Keep the shoulder blades back, squeeze your chest. Inhale, breathe in, drop the body down. Exhale, press and squeeze. If this is easy, go ahead and do a regular one. That's all good. Just because we're a beginner, doesn't mean we can't challenge ourselves a little bit. And squeeze, boom. All right, we are back on the bike, hopping on. Get our feet in here, tie down these pedals a little bit. And if you have some uh, clip-ins, those work really well too. So let's get moving. All right, moderate resistance here. We are just pedaling, nice and easy. We got 25 seconds going moderate. And then like I said, we are gonna crank it up for 20 seconds and we're gonna hit it hard. So just keep your breath going. If at this 20 second mark, you just wanna pedal and you're too out of breath, just pedal, okay? But I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna stay in my seat this time. I'm gonna just pedal as hard as I can. I got the resistance up, give it a little bit more. Find that sweet spot, moving those legs, staying upright, my abs are tight, pushing as hard as I can. Giant strokes, whew, all right. Look, I just broke a sweat, nice. All right, so I'm gonna peel these off. And again, if you're having trouble with your joints and running, start cycling. Way less impact, all right? Next move, reverse crunch, we're working abs. All right, so we're here. If you're a beginner, knees bent, lift the hips and then lower back down. Legs at 90, reset, inhale, breathe in. <sighs> Exhale, don't pull on your neck. Keep the head back and relax. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, lift. You want a little bit more of a challenge? Bring the legs out. Inhale, breathe in, full stretch. Exhale, push, lift the hips. I inhale and breathe in on the way down. That's gonna help expand the diaphragm. It's gonna keep my core tighter. Less pressure on the back and then exhale. Push. Exhale the top. We wanna to create that deep contraction. Inhale on the way down. Exhale here, take all the air out of the lungs, out of the stomach. That gives you a deeper contraction. You'll feel your abs a lot more. Let's get one more. Push. Boom. Back onto the bike. Enjoying the workout? Leave me a like. All right, back onto the bike. And again, we're moving a lot the whole time, okay? Because sometimes we get too focused on cardio and we don't get focused on sculpting the body. You know, when I first got into working out, I wanted a flat stomach, I wanted abs. I didn't care about losing weight. I mean, yeah, I wanted to get lighter, but I, I didn't care, I just, I just wanted to be in shape. I wanted to have a six pack. And so, so many times we get focused on cardio and weight loss but you've got to tighten and strengthen the body too. And that's what we're doing today. We're doing a little bit of both. Here we go, let's get ready. Let's get on top of it, boom. Let's crank it, push it, everything you got. If you're getting tired, you can stay vertical and drive or pedal with everything. I'm gonna back off the resistance, my legs are dying, but I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep pedaling. All right, I'm sitting down. Uh, oh, wow, all right. Little breather, oh my God, I can barely get up. So even just getting these feet out of pedals is work. All right, we're almost halfway. Next move, Superman's. Lying down, flat on your stomach. Here, we're pulsing, raising, down. Squeeze, inhale, breathe in, exhale. If you want, do a lat squeeze. It's like you're doing a lat pull down. This is a great way to work your back, your upper back, your low back. When I come to the top, turn my feet off and squeeze my glutes. Supermans are great. You should implement these into your routines. Do variations, Y outs around the world, coming all the way back. Superman, lat pull downs. Because again, when you don't have a gym or you don't have weights, it's hard to train your back with only body weight unless you have a suspension trainer. So nice squeezes. Woo. Awesome. All right, now we are approaching the halfway mark. I'm not gonna talk anymore. Let's crank up the music and let's crush this workout and give it all you got, all right?
I think I changed my mind. I'm gonna, I gotta talk to you, so we're gonna change it up. We're gonna go back into squats, okay? Now, we're gonna do like we did for the beginners. We're here. But if you wanna throw a little bit more into it, do a pulse and then squeeze. Do a pulse and squeeze. You wanna really kick it up, do some pops. All right? Yes, it's still for beginners, but if you've been doing this workout for a while, feel free to pump it up. All right, add pulses, squeeze if you can't, just regular squats. My quads are freaking pumped up, so you should definitely feel it, all right? Nice squeezes, just make sure when you come to the top, squeeze your glutes, squeeze them hard. Nice flex, nice squeeze. Yeah, I was gonna keep this part just silent, but it's too much I gotta talk you through with this. So we're back on the bike. The main reason I wanted to talk here is to talk about this intensity. Because even every time I'm coming onto the bike, my moderate, you know, I'm still trying to push it. So even right here, I got just enough resistance while I still feel my legs. Now, if you're the absolute beginner, keep it easy and just move, because the fact that you're here watching this video, getting your heart rate up is great. But at the point, you see I'm doing 25, 20, 25 seconds moderate, 20 intense. If you can't do intense yet, keep going moderate, no big deal, all right? But if you got it, let's crank it. I'm gonna stay seated on this one. I'm just gonna pedal as hard as I can. Like I said, I'm creating this workout for beginners, but even if you're advanced, you can still do this. It gives your body a little bit of a break by using body weight exercise as rest breaks in between this hard cardio, right? Woo, all right. So back off the intensity. We're coming back and we're gonna get into our alternating reverse lunges. So the main reason I wanna talk because some of you that's been training for a while, I wanna give you something a little extra. So we're alternating. We're coming down. Nice deep breaths, inhale. On the way down, abs tight, exhale. On the way up, you wanna add a little oomph, come down, pop, drop, pop. You can do scissor lunges. I mean, if you're advanced, you're here, your power, which is intense. But if you can't, just here, boom. Alternate, come down super slow. If you're struggling, go slow. It's more efficient, but you can take your time so you don't have to do as many reps, okay? So we're just dropping back. Again, keep that leg three quarters bent, inhale the way down, a little forward lean, keep it all in your glutes. That's why I wanted to make this because sometimes we never activate our glutes just hopping on the spin bike. But when we throw in these legs mixed in and making this a full body workout, full body spin bike workout, now we got a little bit more glute recruitment. <laughs> glute recruitment. All right, so we're moving. Give a little resistance. Going for about 25 seconds. Nice movement. Are you sweating? I'm sweating. That's why I love these type of workouts. Even as much as I do strength training, you gotta get in your cardio. All right, so we're pushing through. We're getting there. We got less than six minutes. Almost five and a half minutes ago. 20 seconds of tense. Let's crank up the intensity. Let's get on the bike. Let's give it hell. Push with all we got. Everything you got. Leaning into it. Oh my God, my quads are about to blow up. I'm staying on top, pushing through. Three, almost there, two, one. Oh my God, woo, some good cardio. This is some good cardio. All right, we're hopping off. Getting a little upper body now. Taking an upper body rest break. <laughs> woo, all right, salt my eyes. Push-ups, knee push-ups, so remember, Focus on the negative. You're 20 to 30% stronger on these negatives, so nice control here. Press and squeeze, all right? These push-ups are giving our body a rest break on our legs. Inhale on the way down, pause, press and squeeze. If it's too hard, work the negative. Pause at the bottom, arch the back a little bit, reset the plank. If you can, you're a little bit better. Negative here. Get the negative on the regular push-up. Drop your knees. Press and squeeze, feel the contraction on the chest. Don't over rotate, reset the plank. Work the negative. Nice control on the way down. Pause, drop knees, press, squeeze the chest, reset. All right, we're getting close. 
It's getting close. We're back on the bike. We're hopping on. I can get my feet in these pedals quick enough. Get a little water break. All right, less than the intensity, a little bit moderate. Woo! How you feeling? You good? <laughs> All right, so moderate intensity, getting some water. It definitely helps. If you can keep your water handy, you don't want to get dehydrated. Moderate intensity here. We're almost at the end of this 20 minute workout. This is where you got to give it your all. Don't give up. You got to finish through strong. Crank up the intensity. 20 seconds, everything you got. It may not look like I'm doing much, but I mean, when you got the intensity jacked up, my legs feel like rocks. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, man, all right. So you have options. If you don't want to go as intense, you can make it a little bit more where your move, legs move faster with a uh, lesser brake on there. And then uh, you can get more speed, but. All right, reverse crunch. Remember, beginners here, 90. Hip lift, exhale, inhale the way down, breathe in, exhale, lift the hips. All right, if you're a beginner, legs at 90. If you're more advanced, bring the legs all the way out. Exhale, lift the hips. If you're feeling a little bit better, bring the legs, hips, big hip lift, all right? Inhale the way down, exhale. That bigger hip lift is gonna get you that nice V taper in the abs. Per se, your nutrition's in check. So inhale, breathe in. Hush. Exhale. Inhale, breathe in. Up. Hush. Exhale, squeeze. Almost there. A few more reps. Let's get two. Hush. I said it. Let's get one more on the buzzer. Here we go. Hush. All right, back on the bike. Whew. Some of you never got on and off a bike so much, huh? <laughs> All right, getting the feet in the pedals, locking them in, and we are moving. Now, if you like, for example, this, this pedal is at the, the pretty hard intensity at which I was going my sprints at. So look, I can still go moderate and go through a hard climb, for example, okay? So right here, I'm climbing hard. I got it on the sprint intensity, but I'm just going at a moderate pace, all right? Now I'm gonna stay in my seat. Now I'm gonna give it my all. I'm gonna push. Again, trying to wash the posture as best I can. All right, we're gonna try and grind it. Can't talk and do this. Let's push, let's drive. Almost there, this is like the last one almost. Here we go. Ah, whew. Man, all right. We are hopping off. Last exercise and we are done. Almost done, all right, Superman's. Down onto the ground, lying down. This is how we work our back. We're working our lower back, we're working our lats. Let's come up. And Superman, just raise the arms up. If you can, you might try them straight. Pulse. Straight arm, straight leg. Pulse. That'll get hamstrings. You want to feel your glutes, turn your feet out. Pulse. Literally, as I come up, squeeze the butt cheeks, all right? Inhale. Exhale, raise those arms up. Get the rear delts, back of the shoulders. You want lats? Bring the hands up. Squeeze, do a lat pull. Inhale, breathe in. Squeeze, you might even get your triceps. Pump your arms back, flex your arms. Have fun with it. Inhale, exhale, squeeze, flex. Coming up, Superman, lat pull, tricep extension. Using body weight and calisthenics, you can still get a hell of a pump. All right, we're gonna take our 15 seconds. We're almost done here, so feel free to do a little child's pose action. Drop down, stretch, loosen up. Woo! Oh yeah, did you enjoy sweating some buckets or sweating some bullets here? This is a good workout, I'm not gonna lie, this is really good. I mean, even though as long as I've been working out, I'm dripping sweat. It's 71 degrees in the studio, okay? So it's not like it's super warm in here. I am sweating, all right? But this is a great thing that I'll do if I'm short on time. If you're advanced, you wanna really kick this up, feel free to freestyle, okay? Like, think of my exercises like the Bible, okay? If you're Christian or you follow it, you may try and practice and preach it, but you may not do it 100%. It's kinda like when I write out my workouts for clients, I say, 
treat it like the Bible. You may not follow it like 110%, but do bits and pieces of it and trying to be the best you can every day. So you may take bits and pieces of the workout. The skeleton, the meat and potatoes of this workout is the bike. The 45 seconds of work with a 25 seconds moderate, 20 seconds intense. When you come to these exercises, you wanna jump rope, do jump rope back on the bike. You wanna do both do burpees, do burpees back on the bike. Try and get 20 minutes on and off the bike, doing a 25 seconds of a moderate pace, 20 seconds intense, 15 second transition, and then do the exercise. Maybe you wanna do push-ups the whole time. On the bike, pedal hard. Off the bike, push-ups. That's a heck of an upper body workout that's cardio intensive and you never even went to the gym. So think outside the box a little bit, okay? I hope you really enjoy this workout, something a little different. And uh, also, I'm not a Peloton instructor, okay? But if you didn't have a Peloton, that's why I put in the title, no Peloton required. Because this is free. Like, if you haven't seen my channel yet, please share this with a friend or family member. I put out a lot of free content. Now, the, the thing is, is I'm really getting my 100 workouts in 100 weeks, so at the filming of this, Probably when you watch this video, I'm probably gonna have 75 follow along workouts, which is pretty sweet, all right? That you can follow along and do at home. But in the meantime, like you don't always have to pay for training, okay? There's a lot of free stuff on YouTube and you can utilize my stuff. Now, yes, using the Peloton app is awesome. Yeah, you pay so much 99 per month and you get access to a lot of different trainers and workouts and stuff, it's structured. I'm gonna have some paid programs coming out in the future. You can you know, use my stuff. But in the meantime, if you're a beginner and you're brand new to training, look at my beginner playlist. I'll put that right there. Check out my body weight playlist. Check out my workouts my ab workouts. I put a lot of free stuff because when I do have the stuff that you can pay for, it's gonna be harder. But I wanted to have anybody and everybody have access to training and workouts because when I was growing up, I didn't have this kind of information. I had my Maximum Fitness Magazine that they don't even make anymore, and that was my Bible. So I want you to use this like a Bible. Get your body in the best shape of your life. Honor God with your body. I'm not gonna get too spiritual on you, so I'll cut it right there. But again, thank you so much for watching. Please go ahead, subscribe, click that notification bell so you never miss my latest content and uh, share this with friends and family because that's how we get the word out and strengthen each other, all right? So take care of yourselves, God bless, and I will see you in the next workout. I keep on working, got purpose and worth. Music's my cure and this world is my purse. Get rid of this curse with every reverse. Of course I've been hurt, but I'm not much worse. Leave me alone, get out of my head. Walk out the opinions until I'm dead. They all go to sleep, but you listen instead. Listen some more and you'll cease to regret. I keep on working, I got it on track. You gonna see my name up on the flag. I sell this shit and I'll never come back. I keep this bitch on the line to attack. Never look back. I make a record like crash. Top of my bracket, I smash. I'm like a pack. I'm about to stack it like cash. It's gonna happen. And so that it never changed myself